food bars. Hey there, welcome to another five on food. I'll do my best to keep this one at five. I know some of mine have actually been shorter, but I got a lot of stuff to cover. We're talking about food bars, uh, specifically six different kinds of food bars, which means I got to cover each one in less than a minute. Um, but they come in all shapes and sizes and flavors. And so that's the thing is that they're all different, which one is good for different types of hiking. So we're going to go through those. The first one I'm going to cover is the Luna nutritional bar. I'm going by what they write on their own packaging. The nutritional bar is uh, 1.69 ounces in size, has eight grams of protein, which isn't bad, 190 calories for that 1.69 ounces, 28 grams of carbs, three grams of fiber. So basically looking at those numbers, some folks are like, okay, that's a bunch of numbers, big deal. Um, to me, that tells me that's probably decent for short to mid-range backpacking trips because, you know, that, that that's not a bad little package there for just over one and a half ounces. You get 190 calories, so that's not a bad snack food. That's not necessarily going to be a meal, but that's one of those things that you can pull out when you're getting a little tired on the trail. You have it in your hip, hip belt pocket or something, grab one real quick. It'll, it'll help uh, perk you up with, uh, with eight grams of protein in it and, and, and carbs and stuff. That'll help give you some energy. <clears throat> the next one is the Cliff Bar, which they call an energy bar. It is 2.4 ounces in size, 10 grams of protein. That ties for the, uh, the highest protein out of the ones that I've looked at. 260 calories also ties for the highest. Uh, 43 grams of carbs, which is the highest of all the ones that I that I that I looked at, and four grams of fiber. So, Cliff Bar would be one that I would definitely use on like long distance backpacking. I mean, you can use it for a lot of other stuff too, day hiking, anything else like that. Absolutely, um, but that's pretty good. A 2.4 ounce um, bar that packs a wallop. 260 calories. That's a lot of good energy. It's got good carbs in there to, to, to give you that immediate energy, some protein to back it up to help your muscles, fiber to kind of help moving things through. So that's a, that's a pretty good package right there, not bad. Next one is the Tahoe Trail Bar. They call themselves, which is specifically a trail bar. Uh, made or originally came locally from a, a person up in the Tahoe area. Uh, and it is 2.3 ounces in size, so very close and comparable to the Cliff Bar. It is the other one that is tied at 10 grams of protein, 260 calories as well. So that's you know, the, the, these two are tied. The Cliff Bar and the Tahoe Bar are tied for that uh, highest amount. 37 grams of carbs, so slightly lower than the Cliff Bar. Four grams of fiber, like the Cliff Bar. So very comparable to the Cliff Bar. So you know whether it's you want to support a, a different brand. Or you just like taste better or whatever there there's some choices there but i would consider both of those the tahoe trail bar included uh to be great for long distance hiking and and things like that because i think you know you're, you're able to carry this little 2.4 ounce uh bar that gives you a pretty decent wallop of calories in there with some good protein and some uh, uh and good carbs in there to give you that energy you need when you just need a snack i mean that that, that could actually be a breakfast uh, to just get you started for the day and if you wanted something else later you've got it things like that next would be the lara food bar they just call it a food bar that is 1.6 ounces in size five grams of protein 200 calories 24 uh, carbs 24 grams of carbs and fiber is four grams so it's kind of right up there in that in that middle ground i can see it working definitely for day hikes shorter backpack trips and, and things like that um, yeah, it's getting up there in the calorie range, 200 calories. That's not too bad. Um, so, you know, it can, it can be a help. The kind fruit and nut bar is the next one I'm, I'm looking at. It is 1.4 ounces in size, three grams of protein, 190 calories, 21 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. Uh, this has the lowest fiber of the six that I that I looked at and I'm kind of talking about today um, and fiber not necessarily helps you on the trail for nutrition but that kind of helps things 
flowing if you know what I mean and if you have issues with that on the trail either too loose or or not coming out at all both those things can can create problems and affect your trip so you do want to keep track of that so it, it does have the lowest fiber um, but other than that probably decent especially for for day hiking or, or a quick snack on the trail with 190 calories or 1.4 ounces in size not bad not bad and then finally the Trader Joe's fruit bar I was actually kind of disappointed in this um, they are the smallest bar of the ones 1.06 ounces in size zero grams of protein that actually shocked me no protein in this bar at all which it's, that's not good when you're trying to give yourself energy and help your muscles when you're out there working you need some kind of protein in there zero grams of protein 90 calories so that is the lowest calories of all the bars <clears throat> because it is one of the smallest uh, 19 grams of carb, 3 grams of fiber so and that also puts it at the lowest amount of carbs too so I, I you know tell you the truth I wouldn't recommend that one at all for hiking if you like the taste of them and you just want a snack cool there you go but as far as when you're trying to be out on the trail and get some actual energy and help your muscles and help your body keep going down the trail that's not one I would recommend not not with only 90 calories and zero protein in it um, and the lowest amount of carbs that's just yeah that, that's not gonna help you on the, on the trail so if you just want a nice snack at home yeah, there you go you can have that uh, but the others there you go I wasn't able to keep it under five but we were close so it's still five on food that's the different six different energy bars that I uh, uh, looked at and any comments or questions below any other energy bars you'd like to uh, see looked at I may do a closer look at some of these or how I use them and things like that in a like a different format like hiker homily but for now that's five on food and food bars